Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at another something very unique. This is the Space Crab 03, the Space Crab Pod. Now it's actually just been recently re-released. This has been out for a while. I have actually reviewed this before in its previous set where it was available in like a two set. Now it's been re-released where you just get one in the box and, but there's three different versions. There's a white, a green, and a red version of this. Obviously, I've built the green version here today. So if you guys have seen my past review, the kit is exactly the same. So the review portion of this video will probably be pretty simple. If you guys want a more full review, I guess you can go back and check that out. I'll probably just be restating a lot of the same things I said in that because the kit is basically the same. But we will we'll be going through the unboxing, showing you guys what's different just in the boxes between all the different sets, basically just the color. And then in case you haven't seen my previous review and this is your first time ever seeing this kit, it is a very cool kit. We recently got a bunch of them in here at USA Gundam Stores. So if you're looking for something more unique, something different to build instead of just your standard Gundam kind of mobile suit type design, something a little bit more kind of like real world sort of, but still like with some definite sci-fi vibes going with it, it's a really fun kit to build up. So I highly recommend you guys check it out. The link, of course, will be down in the video description below. But let's go ahead and get to the unboxing, and then we'll take a look at the kit. So let's just start off by taking a look at the different box art for all three different versions of this. And we're going to start off with the red version first. Very striking box art here. It almost looks like it's meant to be like a racing type or something. But if we go around onto this side of the box, you'll notice that they are actually differently named. You can see right there, and it was on the front as well, but this one is actually the middle range firefighter type is what they're calling the red version here. On the other side of the box, we can see some more images of what the kit is going to look like when it's all put together, front and back, top and side. You can see all those little mechanical arms and everything that it has on there. So moving on to the white version, as you can see, we've got a snow setting here for this one. You can see it there with the arms deployed and everything. They're calling this one the middle range ambulance type. It doesn't really strike me so much as the ambulance, but okay, that is some way to differentiate the different color versions, I guess. And once again, on this side of the box, we got some more product images, what the kit is going to look like when it's all built up. But there you have it separated from the back. You can separate the front and back half of the kit. So it's cool that we got some different images from what we saw in the red version of the box art. And then that brings us to the green version here, which as you can see is in this kind of forest setting. It almost looks like it's in doing some deforestation there or something with some like uh, embers flying around. I don't know what it's doing there exactly, but even though this is still the space crab, it's definitely not in space unless it's on like a different planet or something. But this one is the middle range guard type is what they're calling the green version. Once again, for this version of the kit, we've got some different images over here, just showing some of the articulation of the arms and everything on there. So it does look like it's gonna be very fun. Let's go ahead and get the box opened up. And right off the bat there, you can see we've got our green armor parts and the mechanical parts will also be a different color, I believe, for the different versions. We got the base in there as well as our clear red parts, a couple of clear parts. We've got some water side decals. We'll take a look at those in just a second. And here is our instruction manual. Pretty cool that our instruction manual features some information there for you in English. If you want to read that, I guess just some kind of backstory or information about the pod crab. A couple more images of the kit down here here showing the hatch open and the pilot figure sat inside there. For the green version we do have a custom page in here so this should be different between uh, the different versions of the kit just showing you where the colors are and where the decals go on the kit so this is obviously the green version we're taking a look at here the middle range guard type and the rest of the manual just features your standard parts list here in the front and then it just goes on with the construction all throughout there all the way to the very end, mounting it on the stand, and that's it. So here's a look at the water slide decal sheet. So this will obviously be a little bit different between the different versions of that. Your hex colors, of course, gonna be different for the different versions. Taking a close up look, we got a little kind of character logo there for the guard type. I'm not really a big fan of that, it looks kind of dumb, or like the kind of Charizard looking bat logo kind of thing there with the ER6. So some of the decals look great, some of them I'm not really that big of a fan of, but the hex camo here does look pretty good if you want to use that. Again, I'm not really too big of a fan of that, but you got that on there if you want to use it. Getting into the runners, here is runner A, which is in a clear black, which is going to be mostly parts for the stand, but then one piece there for the canopy as well. Runners F and G are also clear parts, F being plain clear, G being in clear red. Runner C here is in a dark green color, which looks very nice. Of course, very detailed kit. Here's runner E with, again, just more parts in dark green. And just zooming in to take a closer look at some of that detail there you guys can see is this is stuff that's going to mostly be covered up, but you will be able to see a lot of this detail on the finished kit as well. Here's runner D in our main light green color for the outer armor of the kit. And runner B for some more of those parts as well as some mechanical bits on there. 
All right guys, here's the kit all put together. And I gotta say, after my second time building this kit, I really, really enjoyed it just as much as the first one. There are definitely some pros and cons to the kit though, as you'll see as we're just taking a look at some different examples, posing it. And I'll just get the negative out of the way first that we can focus on all the positives. And that is just that if you're planning on building this kit just straight out of the box and not doing anything with it, you're definitely gonna have some issues with just parts falling off, especially in the parts where there's articulation and on like the main arms and the sub arms and underneath. Uh, the kit straight out of the box doesn't stay together all that well. You're definitely going to want to either use some paint or uh, some glue or something just to tighten up the joints just so that things aren't falling apart on you constantly. Stability wise, straight out of the box, the kit is definitely a little bit weak. That said, we can move on to the positive aspects of the kit and that is just the fact that it's a super detailed kit. You've got detail all over the place, so if, especially if you are planning on painting up the kit, there's a lot of room to play with this, just painting in all those little details and everything. I really love how realistic all the mechanics look on this from the main arms to the tiny little sub arms that you have underneath and how you can detach like the main body and just attach on to just kind of like the like the basic truck bed kind of platform on the back of this as well so you have different options that you can do with that. If you're the kind of person that's into like very realistic future sci-fi mechanics and things like that. I can highly recommend you guys pick up one of these kits. I mean, between the three different color versions of it, just the main color that it's molded in is going to be the only real difference. So unless you're not planning on painting it, you know, choose whichever color that you like the most. But definitely a really nice opportunity to grab the kit now as well. That is just packaged with just one in a box. It's going to be cheaper for you guys, where previously it was packaged with two in the box, which is nice to have two of them. It's definitely not a kit that I don't mind having multiples of. But if you want to just try out something new, and you don't want to have to spend quite as much money doing it. Now with this being, being available as just a single kit in the box, it's going to be a little bit cheaper for you guys. So definitely pick one up. I can highly recommend it to you guys. It's just got a really cool look to it, and it's just something different and unique and fun to build. So if you guys have any other further questions or comments about it, do feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. I'll put a link to USA Gundam Store down in the video description. As always, in there you guys can check out this kit in any of its different color versions there. And of course you can save 10% off anything there on the site with my coupon code, which is down there in the video description as well. So don't forget to use that. Thank you guys all so much for checking out the video today. If you'd like to leave a like or subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. As always, love hearing from you guys in the comments as well. Until next time, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.